you look at this morning, the disruptors in the CPI at the moment are not the wages. It is the auto insurance and it is the shelter. Um, so two of the portions of your narrative are perhaps challenged this morning. Inflation's not behaving as they possibly want. And those rate cuts are getting kicked further to the second half of the year. Good morning. Disrupted, interrupted, mildly bothered? Uh, well, you know, I, th I think this is... Uh... <laughs> A, a, a story with nuances, and we don't like nuances. So um, uh, we think inflation is going to go to 2%. Uh, right now, I mean, if you look under the hood, um, we're saying, like, as you say, this is a story about shelters mainly, core inflation. Uh, X shelter is running at 2% over the last three months, uh, even with this release. So I think the story is still uh, in the near term that we're going to see inflation trending down. The market is overreacting. We have, I mean, that has been the story for the last 18 months. Uh, we've seen that in December with the shocker FOMC, massive rally, right? And now uh, six got expected in 2024. That was overextended. I think that's getting uh, corrected as we speak. But I think the broader story will be uh, one where inflation is going to continue to trend down over the next few months. We're going to see cuts. But as you say, and as you quoted from, uh, from, from, from your quote here, is that uh, the bigger story is that we think – once we hit two, we're going to then be on the path that uh, is going to rebounding uh, later this year. So that's a new one story where we see uh, the market right now uh, reacting uh, to a print. I think it's going to be still a market that's going to be supported by a soft lending narrative over the next few months. The Fed will ultimately cut. That's going to be the story. And then later this year, then I think this is where our worries are really more about rather than now.